Hello everybody, it's John from DVSL Gamers again. The previous match that I posted, um, it was a live game between myself, Hatch and two public players. Uh, we played this map, I think it's called Mora, and we won that one. But I, in that match I mentioned that we played a the same map just a few minutes earlier. Well this is the replay of that map. We're using identical force to the ones in the live commentary game that I posted. As you can see, it's the same exact army on my side. I'm not entirely too sure if Hatch uses a different force. I think he may have done, but I cannot remember to be perfectly honest with you. But my force is exactly the same. Um, it's just the opponents that are different. And one thing that we came to realize is obviously this city in the middle is very important. Well, it's technically a town. I think cities are generally bigger than that. Anyway, that's not important. So, bring you the quick replay. This is quite a good game. It's a little bit short, but I still enjoyed it. Slow down the speed a little bit. MiG 21's coming in, take out the reconnaissance chopper. I dropped off my Canadian rifles and my Vandus on the outskirts of town, expecting the enemy to be closer than what I thought they would be. Um, so in the next game, I dropped them off a little bit closer to here. Now I do push my rifles and Vandus forwards. Look, reconnaissance by fire with my choppers kind of a waste because they just get killed anyway. I just say exact same deployment with my man pads, my Swedish man pads. Uh, I put my AMX 1020Ps with my ATGMs in there. I drop the stormers off here and then reconnaissance by fire with my transports there. Hatch brings in his US Marines. Uh, Four squads, 15 in each, so there's 16 marines there against very few enemy troops. Flame tanks come on and take out something. I'm not entirely too sure if they actually did take anything out of us. Anyway, infantry are engaging their infantry. Tanks are engaging the trucks because they're very, very bad tanks. They don't actually do anything. Uh, that squad's lost seven. This has lost nine. They've managed to wipe out two full platoons of enemy troops there. My Vandus and rifles are moving forward still. Enemy AA are engaging Hatches Hueys. I'm bringing in reconnaissance and artillery. The recon guys I'm going to put on the left, move them forward. Uh, Hatch is bringing us some anti-aircraft. He's fed up with the pesky planes. Um, on the left-hand side, I lose three APCs to the T-72s. T-72 M1s are the East German variant. Again, they're not that great, but they're capable. They're more than capable of taking out some lightly armored APCs. Now, because I realised that the French Milan M3 F2 is useless over here. Truck them up again, move them forward. The enemy called in reinforcements into the city again. I put my two units on an ambush point. Very big attack into the city on the right hand side for Hatch because most of his guy or all his guys are in these blocks here. Uh, they're very well protected. Light riflemen are dishing it out, but they're also taking it back. These transports are killing. He does manage to spot this. Oh no, that's not his marker, that's the enemy marker. My Vandus, because they're stationary, 
opening up on these trucks. Didn't kill anything, just they've shook one, took a couple of hit markers off it. Actually moving his marines forward as you can see. Here's my fighting falcon coming in. This fancy pants turning, flying upside down. Took out an awful lot. My deck in this is a bit of everything. That's what it's actually called. It's actually called a bit of everything. It's a very useful deck. It combines most nations on the NATO side. I'm moving my rifles forward. Let's help out the Marines. And then we wipe out these two multi shooters. Flamethrower tanks. Pesky buggers. They will die. My artillery is coming for either these. There's nothing else. Yes, they're coming on to these. Kills one, stuns the other two. Heavily damages one. Big 17F. Pesky. Wiped out a squad. Took the other one down to three men. There's another one coming in. They carry four 250 kilo bombs, so they're good for taking out infantry and light armoured vehicles. Hatch's tow Humvee jeeps are empty. He's bringing in supplies for them. Super M60 on standby. My F15 flying cap and uh, my F16 is doing the same. No, nope, he's looking for a target. And I find him one. T-72s. Hatches Marines have been bombed again quite heavily. Didn't kill the tanks. Made pretty fireball. Panicked. Damaged them a little bit. Uh, Hatches Chaparrales are empty. Unfortunately, these two Hemets here get captured by the enemy. So after a little bit of swearing and grumbling, he says, watch your... Because I'm calling my supply trucks in. He says, just make sure they don't get stolen as well. Another F-16 coming in. Completely misses those. And missed everything, to be honest. T-72s bump into my Vandus. One shot in the in the arse, two health points left. One dead, the other one's panicked, badly damaged. And now he's dead. Bandus are really good. And I get a free supply truck for it. Milan F2 shoot a T72 in the side. They missed the other one. He really wants to kill that supply truck. Another MIG F2. MiG-17 PF coming in, T-72 is dead. That bomb run killed some of my Van Doos. I'll bring my F-16 back in. I've rerouted my Marda, Roland 2 and my supply trucks down here. I'm going to bring them back up. I've moved my F-15 Eagle further forward. Enemies bringing in another infantry attack. And he dies. Uh, thanks to stolen supply truck. My squads there start healing up. They manage to get the kill back for that. But then they run into 34 marines and 10 very pissed off bandus. We're plus two, so we're in the lead by a lot. They do manage to kill off my Vandus, I believe. I can't see three chaps surviving by themselves. 
Yeah. Ah, oh, there was only two left when they died. These ruffle the waffle. Your makes are annoying. Oh, I have another eagle on this deck, so I don't know why I haven't brought him in. Anyway, my Rolands are here. And I'm bringing in some more infantry. Not sure if they're Vandus or rifles. Hatch is bringing up some supplies for his chaparrales. Uh, we've started to bring them in through my deployment zone in Charlie now. At the moment it's 517 out of 600 to 42 of 600. There's Bradley's CV, reconnaissance vehicles engaging the Conkers, but the Conkers kill it. Unfortunately. So I bring in a Fighting Falcon, normally kills everything but it misses for some reason. Bombs just on the north side of the building, leaving four left. Ruffle the Waffle surrenders. I'll bring in another F-16. Again, misses everything. Roland's being engaged by the T-72, just as I'm dropping off my infantry. I don't know why I didn't reverse him. I'm sure there's a reason for that. But he dies anyway. Eagle taken on a MiG 21B, stuns it, he evacs it, but my Roland gets it. Bringing my supply trucks over for my F2 Milans, or Milan F2 even. I don't know why, but he does a... Does he drive him back? I think he drives him back for some reason. Anyway, enemy armour in the town. But again, it's a town. Don't send tanks in. I've got two two squads of Vandus. Run! There's a floating Kalga stuff. Ah! Ghosts. T-72 runs into the Marines, panic it, stun it, and then kill it, eventually. There we go. Now it's two on one, uh, at least he's still fighting. These drops are a pain in the ass. So my helicopters aren't going to do any good over the city, not especially against tanks, so I pull them back. Van Duz one shot this T-72. Two shot. Sorry, 14 or 16 rounds left. MI-2 sneaking forward. US Marines redeploying, supply trucks coming in, and he's also bringing in light riflemen. F-16 is coming in. I think I lose this one. Yep. Did score a hit on that stolen Hemet. I think, I think there might have been something else there. Oh, there's a supply truck in there. That's what put these back up to five. They were on four after the first bomb run. My mistake, Eight, Dragon 2 is not light infantry. My AMX 
10 P's coming in, engaged by these because I thought they were dead. Unload the infantry quickly before they die as well. Also bringing Amada 2 forward as well. More planes coming in. Hatches, typical. <laughs> this is how you do it. Obviously, because my F 16s didn't do the job properly. When in doubt, burn them out. They're getting engaged by the strops. On the left hand side, my Falsham Jäger are moving forward. Um, they don't actually get to do much in the battle. Dragon 2 is engaging the strops, managed to kill one. Uh, Hatch is pushing some armour forward. Killed the last strop there. Enemy reconnaissance comes in. Although these are going to run straight into my Vandus. Again, MiG 17 PFs come in. Bomb these guys. Falcon comes in, misses. But he does drop his bombs. Panics that, scares them, damages it badly. Motor Stroke run into my Vandus. Uh, I noticed that these aren't shooting, so I moved them forward to support the buddies there. Hater GMs engaging the, infant, the vehicles from behind. Hitting their rear armour. Nearly one shots everything. Ah. Oh, yeah. I love my A-10s. Because they killed their intended target, I evac them. Moving my Roland 2 up. I'm going to put him in this park. Should give him a good line of sight. Onto the air corridor here. Hatch brings in his Corsairs too late because I've already done the job for him. Ah ha ha. Moves his Cobra forward. I'm not too sure if he sees the command vehicle there. I'll sort, sort the view over too late. As you can see, he's bringing in some more anti air. Engaging the C-55s, his Abrams and Super M60s have just killed three. MiG-21 coming in to have a go at the Cobra. A lot of anti-aircraft, he only damages the Cobra. I bring my, supply, my transport choppers over to kill this helicopter. Miniguns are lethal to helicopters. And that's game. 600 points, 18 minutes 35 seconds, uh, Hatch did very well, I did quite well. He held his ground for a lot longer than Waffle, but we was actually expecting a better game from this guy considering he's supposed to be a major. Um, whenever we join games, why is it telling me Hatch's stuff? I don't care about Hatch's stuff, or no, no, mine. Anyway, at least it says victory. Um, yeah, a lot of if you join a server and you see somebody's rank, and you think, "Oh shit, no, he's a colonel," or in this case, a major. Um, but rank doesn't mean anything. It just means that you've been playing for a lot longer. Even if you lose all your games, you will still rank up because you will obviously still be scoring points, even if you lose. So, rank doesn't really mean anything. I mean, this guy. We were expecting a better fight from him, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, he didn't bring it. So, we won. Um, but considering this is still a fairly new game mode, um, a lot of people don't actually pay attention to when they're joining. 
So they'll join and still think that they're playing destruction when in fact it's conquest. Um, they will go for unit kills, but it's not unit kills that counts, it's the control points. So a lot of people forget or don't know or just don't pay attention. Um, I played a game recently with Reconos and we were getting absolutely mullered. We were NATO, they obviously they're packed. As soon as they started bringing out their TATUs, you now we really didn't have anything to counter it, so they were kept pushing us back. But they were doing it slowly. Um, but because it was conquest, we still had our command points, and we won. It was a 30-minute game. And they didn't realise it was a 30-minute game, so they was turtling, and it cost them. So we won. So when you join a server. Or a lobby pay attention to the name because that will tell you a lot and it will also give you an indication of what you need to do to win if it's conquest get the command points if it's uh, destruction get the kills uh, yeah a lot of people don't realize that okay guys uh, that was a nice quick easy game any comments feel free to leave and I'll see you later bye bye